ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നാജി ഹിയർ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഓൺ ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ബി ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ ഇമേജ് യൂസിംഗ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് പ്രോംറ്റ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് വി വിൽ ബി യൂസിംഗ് എ ഡബ്ല്യൂ എസ് ബെഡ് റോക്ക് ആൻഡ് ദ മോഡൽ ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു യൂസ് സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി എ ആൻഡ് വി ഓൾസോ വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഓൺ ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ദിസ് യൂസിംഗ് പൈത്തൺ ആൻഡ് വി വിൽ ബി യൂസിംഗ് എ പാക്കേജ് കോൾഡ് ബോട്ടോ ത്രീ so our objective is very clear so we'll be generating a image from text prompt audience and anybody who's interested can be listen to this video and something good to have that is python knowledge and if you want to code with me good to have a python knowledge and aws adrock i mean aws account and bedrock permissions and iim user creation so we'll be we discussing or will be showing bedrock permissions and the iim user creation in this video okay so before going to this slide we can go to aws console so this is my or this is our aws console home screen here we can go to amazon bedrock okay so this is one way of so this is my uh, aws bedrock menu in my recent visit or you guys can search from here okay amazon bedrock just search here you will able to see that so here getting started so we will be going to use this model stable diffusion okay so just click on this model you can see uh, a ui something like this so if you don't have any access you can click on this request model access let's go to here and click on the model access here you guys can check all the way down you can check this check box and you guys can request for the access for me i have already access granted so i'm not going to do anything here okay so let me go back let me can go back here so here we can have a uh, playground is there let me click on this playground and i can ask that okay a running cat just click on it and in the meanwhile like we can discuss about few configurations here okay you can see few configurations and we will be using a generate image okay so the image is here so this is a running cat and if you want to avoid something from the generated image so that we can uh, given that prompt here okay that is called the negative uh, prompt and here the orientation can be orientation size can be uh, check here we can here we can see the prompt strength okay how much um, uh, how much closely the image going to generate so that is mentioned by the prompt and um, the steps and the seed is also mentioned here okay so these are the very uh, common configurations okay so this is how uh, we can use the uh, playground and uh, we can see how can we integrate this with a python using python programming language okay so uh, let me go to the powerpoint so let me uh, tell you the implementation step in a high level so first we need to identify the model id okay then um, we need to set up the body and the parameters okay then we can call a model i mean we can invoke the model so that is actually returning a uh, what we called a, a bytes i mean it's a json structure from that we need to uh, we need to convert it into base64 okay uh, then we can save the image so that is the uh, basic step that we will be following in this program so one more thing that you need to remember we need to create a iim user okay so that is also mandatory for that what we can go here in the search box i can search for iim just click on the iim um here okay click on the users here i am going to create a user i can say bedrock um what do you call image 
just click on this and attach policy next let me go back here okay so we have the policy here we can attach the uh, our policy here let me search for bedrock here i am going to select aws bedrock full access so this particular user will have the aws bedrock full access now next create user so the user is created this is my user bedrock image now just click on the user go to security credentials here we have a access keys just click on create access key access key okay i'm just going to use application running outside aws just create access okay so now we have our access key and the secret key okay so please don't use this access key and the secret key i will be deleting this key as soon as i upload to upload this video okay fine so we have created the im user okay now what we can do uh, maybe let me duplicate this tab now we can check our model id for that we can go to bedrock earlier i forgot to show the model id that we are going to use okay arab bedrock mistral okay and here we can see the model id that we are going to use so this is the model that we are going to use okay now we can go to the python implementation okay so this is the uh, this is the same folder i have been using in my uh, like since the beginning so here i am going to create a uh, aws bedrock image generation dot py okay. so this is our python file so in the requirement dot file we need two packages one is boto3 and the other one is pillow okay okay this these two things are langchain and langchain community has added for the another video okay so that is not necessary for this uh, particular exercise but i am keeping that because this all are in the same github repo okay so ensure that you have boto3 installed and pillow is installed now we can do first step we can do some of the imports okay we can import boto3 can import uh, io and we can import json and we can import base64 64 now we can import image from P. now let me create a function okay here first we can create a bedrock client okay so for bedrock client we need boto3 dot client so here we need to mention which service that we are going to use maybe let me put service underscore name this will be bedrock runtime now we can mention our region so here our region is uh, us east one if you don't know how to get the region just go back to the adibris console okay so you can see the which region i have selected i have selected us east one okay now we can keep uh, aws access key and the secret key this has to be in the environment variable okay so for the time being i am just giving here here i can give my my aws secret access key uh, this can be copied from here this is my access key let me paste it here now we can have aws 
AWS. Okay, I just made a mistake. Let me correct this. This should be uh, this should be AWS. This this is not access key. This is AWS uh, access key ID. And this is AWS secret access key. So let me go back here, copy this, and paste it here. Okay, so we have mentioned the AWS runtime and the region. AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key. So we are good. So we have our client is ready. Now we can set up a few parameters that is one is accept as usual we will be keeping that in uh, application slash JSON then we can keep our content content type that is also will be application slash JSON so we have our uh, content type now we can have our model id so as i mentioned we can go to the bedrock we can copy this just copy this model id so this is the model id that we are going to use okay next we need to have our prompt our prompt will be i need to see uh, sri lanka tea plantation Space. Now we can mention our body. In the body should be a JSON. So let me write a JSON load. Here we can mention the text prompt. There are quite few configurations, but we will be only looking into the mandatory one. Okay. So here we can mention the text. So these all are in the documentation if you look on documentation you will get more configuration details so we have mentioned our uh, text prompt now maybe we can uh, mention our cfg scale so this this says that how how close will be the image okay so uh, 10 means the highest close and if it is zero it will be lower core lowest similarity close okay um, and we can have our seed. Seed is not uh, necessary, but let me put the seed also. Seed as zero. So we have our body is ready. Now we can invoke the model. Okay. For that we will have a uh, we will have our bedrock client dot invoke model. This is same structure. Here we need to pass our body. Let me pass the body. And we can pass our model ID. And we can pass our content. This is content type. Content type, and we can have accept. So we have our body, model ID, content type, and the accept. So we are good. So once we received the uh, bedrock, okay. So what I mean, once we received the response. We need to we need to read it okay so I can mention JSON dot load it's in the body dot read okay so this will be in the form of a, a base64 so I can take and this is the base64 string format for that I can take a base64 image from the response body Okay. I can get the artifact from that I need to get the base64 okay so since this in the uh, string format we can convert this into the bytes for that what we can do here we can have a base64 image dot I can encode it to ASCII Now we can convert to the image byte. For that we can use the base64 b64 decode. I can pass the base64 byte. 
base bytes okay so this is our one okay so once we have our image bytes what we will do we can use our image from fill here i can open it here i can read tutorial here i can pass the image bytes so once that is the we will have our image ready and i can make image dot show so first we can show that or we will just show that okay so here i can write name equal to equal to main then we need to call the main function so we are good with our code okay so as i mentioned we have a client is there so all these things are the configurations that we have um, uh, that we need to we need to have for this api call then we call the invoke mode method okay so from that we have a response from this response we have our body then we will be using this response body okay this should be from the response body we will take the artifact then we will have the base 64 we will be converted to ascii and the we will be encode to bytes then we will use in the pill package to show that okay so we are good now we can call this we can run this uh, python file aws sorry aws bedrock uh, image generation okay let me execute this so we got some errors json object must be string something is wrong here we can check in the body in the body we are okay this is actually not loads it should be like dumps sorry my mistake so now let me run this i think this time this will work you can see so under the hood it is uh, calling invoking the model all those things Mm -hmm. Let's see. Something went wrong. Otherwise, it should have been. By this time. Yep. See, we are getting the result. This may be the Sri Lankan plantation. We don't know, but this is what the image is generated. Okay. So uh, that's the coding part. Okay. So I believe there is um, one more slide. So let me go there. Okay, so this is the uh, step that we have done. Uh, instead of saving the image, we just open the image. Okay, you guys can do the save part also. Um, then, yeah, so that's about this video. Thank you very much for watching my video. So, please don't forget to subscribe and do some like also. So, bye bye.